Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Red, and this is the exoskeleton set. Armor set. And um, it's kind of a mid-game armor set. You get it, you get the last chest piece when you're um, finished with Aspen, really. Um, and I'll post the three pieces of video, or I'll, I'll edit the three pieces of video onto the end of this one, after I'm done with this, this video. And um, I'll post links in the description section below so if you need to find a piece or you're missing a piece go and have a little look at that um it looks pretty cool kind of like it it's a little bit better than the um power armor in terms of stats uh in terms of you know just base armor value and uh, by about 10 points i think it's not as good as the virgitin uh, it's way better than the chemtech and um well, that's, that's a sniper set there so yeah so, so it's slots somewhere in between the power armor set and the Virgitin set. Um, and it's, it's stats, obviously now, that armor plus 15, um, that's because of the mods that is, that melee damage. I have plus 15% melee, plus 20 on that one, and plus 15 on that, so it's extra 50% melee damage. So you want to be putting this on a guy who's melee spec It's melee spec Um... In hard mode, it's kind of difficult to be melee character because these guys just get one-shotted all the time, no matter how much armor you put on it. I mean, even the guy with the virgin armor, uh, he's got, what, 88 armor and he still gets one-shotted. Um, but in normal mode, obviously these values are worth quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, there it is. So it's a melee spec, pretty decent, pretty decent armor value set. And I, I recommend you get it, because uh, they're not too difficult to find. The chess piece is probably the most difficult to find, and because um, you need to do a couple of things to get it. But uh, like I said, go to the description, click on the timestamp, and go and find uh, the videos I did earlier. I think I did actually do this video a good couple of days ago, so you may have seen it before. All right. Oh, and by the way, there is an ability on this on this chess piece called Earthquake, which is pretty good. I've used it quite a bit. It's uh, it's pretty nice. And I don't quite know what that healing 0% zero, zero of max con over here means. If anybody has any idea what that's trying to say, check in a comment. Okay. That's it. Once I get or once I get the um the nuclear set now, which won't be long, I'm going to do all of all i'm going to put a nuclear set on somebody and i'm going to do a, a, a comparison to comparison to comparison of uh probably those will probably be the all the heavy sets i call them um which will include virgin the nuclear the exo chemtech and the power and uh, that one probably have a power set as well a nuclear probably but anyway okay there it is hope it helps Catch you in the next one. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I'm Red, and this is the Exos. <laughs> Gets me every time. Exoskeleton legs. Um, let me just show you where we are on the map. We're at the paint mines, and um, there's a toaster here as well with the gold piece in it. So I just did that video actually. Um, so the paint mines becomes available after you leave the bazaar, you go back to your ranger base, you're confronted by a group of people who ask you to go and see some guy in Colorado Springs in the apartments. Uh, you go to the apartments, there's that guy in the room by himself, you talk to him, rough him up a little bit, he tells you about the paint mines. It becomes available on a map, it's a little bit east of, um, of the base. Um, so when you get here, let me just, uh, there, are, there is a perception check for a hole in the wall there, Kodiak is here. It's come up. Take a left through there, and uh, it's just this little pile of rubble right here, and then there is XO skeleton legs. The red dots go. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Red, and this is Wasteland 3, and this is the XO or one piece of the XO skeleton suit. I'm going to call it XO from now on. Um, it's in the abandoned oil well, which is southeast corner of Colorado map. And when you get here, there's a couple of guys surrounding the center. You have to shoot one of them, and some stuff happens. And then um, at the end, this pile of rubble appears. Click on that, and um, I already did. I already picked it up. And uh, in your inventory, apart from a few other things, include the doll. You'll get the exoskeleton helmet. There you go.
and I'll post uh, two videos now on the chest and the legs, which I'll get up as soon as the set is completed. And that's it. Great stuff. See you soon. Howdy folks and welcome back. I'm Red and this is a Wasteland 3 video about Peek and Poke, which are two figurines that you might have in your inventory by now. Uh, if you don't, I'll post two links in the description section below uh, where they're located. But one of them is in the Patriarch's Palace and the other one is in Little Hell, which is just after Aspen. Um, yeah, just click on the links and do a search. Press Control F to do um, find a string for Peek and Poke in those two um, links that they give you. And if you're missing one or two of them, go and find them. Um, once you've got them, uh, you need to hand them into the Patriarch, which is where I am right now. And obviously the Patriarch is located in the uh, Patriarch's Palace, uh, which is in Broadmoor. Um, so once you get there, he's going to give you a couple of things, and uh, I'll, which I'll show you in a minute. But it does complete the set. By now, you should have... Is that it? Yeah. You should have two parts of the Exoskeleton Helmet. Exoskeleton Helmet. Um, and he just missing the chest. So, surprise, surprise. Let's go and hand this in. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Scroll, uh, just click not yet, whatever then stage what are you you're on. Here for? Scroll down to the bottom. We have found a peak uh, action figure here in the Never palace. Got the initials SB carved onto hmm. it. Guess that is mine. My pa gave it to me when I was a kid. Passed okay, well you can read this at your own leisure. Too. Yeah, the matching poke toy stand. too. We've got that as I'm well. Sure Vic lost that one too. There you go, we found a poke. Never thought I'd thought see I those, saw two those two together, together again. again. I think I still got the stand. Okay. Here's a little something for fun. And there it is. The exoskeleton chest mouse. armor. And a vehicle part unlock. Pretty sure that I'll deal with all that stuff after. Get going, uh, let's Rangers. Just double check. You have work to do. And there it is. Chest piece. Twenty-seven armor. Holy crap! That's almost double what I had. I don't know if you actually get an armor set bonus. Eh, kind of strange not to have that. But anyway, there it is. Exoskeleton suit completed. Um, if you're looking for the other parts of the exoskeleton suit. Um, I'll see if I can find them, and I'll, I'll paste the links for them in the in the in the description section as well. All right, awesome. See you on the next one. Have fun.